Hi, Jason Palmazano, founder and CEO of Trinity Fitness, coming to you with the question, how can we get a fresh start in life? How do we get a clean slate? And why even ask that question? Well, I think we've all asked that question before, at least thought, man, I need a clean start, a fresh break. Why? Well, because we all know that life gets messy. It does. Uh, it gets messy because life is life. Sometimes it gets messy because we've made a mess of life. Uh, by the choices that we've made. And so I think uh, we've all been in that place. Uh, I know I have more than once on, man, how do I get a fresh start? I sure could use a clean slate right now. Uh, and I think history can teach us a lot by way of this. So I wanna share with you two events in history that have happened that literally changed time and gave people a fresh start uh, that apply to our lives. We certainly can learn uh, from these events. Uh, as, as a matter of fact, they were so significant that each time these events happened, time was measured differently. Days, months, uh, years were measured differently. Calendars restarted. And uh, so pretty significant. And the first of those events happened 1500 BC. So way back, uh, you'd have to actually go back to Old Testament days. This actually, if you wanted to uh, uh, look at this, you can go to Exodus chapter 12 and in 1500 BC, it was actually a time period where there was Egyptian dictators called pharaohs. And uh, there was a series of pharaohs that kept God's people, the Israelites, the Jewish people in captivity for 400 plus years, treated them brutally, cruelly. Well, God raised up a man named Moses to work through Moses to set the people free. God sent Moses to Pharaoh. Pharaoh set my people free. And of course, Pharaoh was like, he considered himself a God. Why am I going to listen to this guy, Moses? Who, who is he to tell me set the people free? And so God used a series of 10 plagues to really capture Pharaoh's attention. And the plagues built on one another. And if you want to read about the plagues, you certainly can in the book of Exodus. But uh, one of them was the plague of blood, where the whole Nile River turned to blood. The plague of the gnats, plague of flies, plague of frogs. Each time Pharaoh hardened his heart, wouldn't let the people go. Until the last and final plague, the tenth plague, it was the, the death. The tenth plague called for the death of the firstborn male in all of Egypt. Now, this included the Israelites, and it also included livestock as well. Every firstborn male was going was gonna to die. <clears throat> now, God said, Moses, tell the people, the Israelites, to spare them of this plague. Tell them to do this, to slaughter a lamb, to take the lamb's blood and put it on the wooden doorposts the wooden door frames of their homes. And when the death angel came by on that particular night, he would see the blood and pass over those door frames, pass over those homes, and they would be free of that plague. Hence the, uh, the term Passover. And so that night came and sure enough, Pharaoh had a firstborn son, he died, along with the other Egyptian first males and the livestock, of course, that captured everybody's attention and Pharaoh was like, get these people out of my sight, let them go free. And God used that event, the Passover, to change the calendar. He said, Moses, now the first, the, 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 the month of Passover will now be the first month of every year because the people's identity changed. They had a clean slate and a fresh start. They were no longer identified as Egyptian slaves. They were now identified as a result of the Passover as children of God. So very, very significant, got a clean start. Put yourself back in that place, in that day, in that time, you have a firstborn son. Imagine this, and your son comes to you and says, mom, dad, why does the lamb have to die? And you look at your son and you say, well, son, it's either the lamb or it's you because there's gonna be a price paid for freedom, for the clean slate, for wiping out the old and bringing in the new. And so the death of the lamb represents the penalty of, of sin. The blood of the lamb represents the sacrifice and the freedom offered through the blood. And God passed over and 
gave them a fresh, clean start with a new identity to live by. Now, fast forward 1,500 years from that time period to another significant event, which completely changed the calendar. And this one really uh, will apply to your life. The first event, the Passover, was a foreshadowing of this event 1,500 years later, and it was actually the birth of Christ. So significant that the calendar once more changed. How was time measured before Christ? In BC. We talk about years in BC, and then after the birth of Christ, the calendar changed to AD, Anno Domini, the year of our Lord. And so time was measured differently, uh, again, which offers us a fresh start even today for every person. Why? How? The foreshadowing of what happened during the Passover in the book of Exodus, where a lamb was slain and that blood was put on the wooden doorpost, is exactly what Jesus Christ represents for you and for me. The Bible calls Jesus the lamb, the lamb of God, who has come to take away the sins of the world. He was beaten brutally, and his blood was put on a wooden cross, which was the door frame. And through that sacrifice that he made for us, we are now offered that fresh new start. No matter what your past is like, no matter what your life is like, no matter what choices and decisions you've made, Jesus Christ is the lamb that offers forgiveness and freedom and a new identity for you from going from where you are to becoming a child of God. It's incredible. It's awesome. I love that. How does that happen in your life? Romans 10, verse 9. Actually, Romans 9, 9 and 10 say, If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. You shall be forgiven, clean slate, new identity. That's what saved means. And so the question, and here's the life altering question for you. Here's how to get the clean slate. Here's how to restart time for you, for me. Has there ever been a time in your life when you have confessed Jesus as Lord and believed in your heart that God raised him from the dead? Has there ever been that Passover in your life? Just as in, in order for the Passover to be effective, for the Israelites, they had to personally apply the blood to their own door frame. Same thing here. Have you ever personally applied the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, the blood that he shed on the cross, have you ever applied that personally to the door frame of your heart? And as you do, that freedom, forgiveness, the clean slate, the new identity comes. And it's a matter of simply you in the quietness of your heart, the quietness of your room, office, car, wherever, God doesn't put any parameters on that, of saying, Lord, I confess you, Jesus, as my Lord and Savior, and I believe that you are the Son of God, that he raised you from the dead so that I can have a fresh start, forgiveness, and to know you and to walk with you. Friend, you can do that today right where you are, and I hope that you do and get the fresh start that God offers us through his son, Jesus. God bless you.